Yes! I just can't believe how many chub are down this run. It's just fantastic. Hey, oh, that looks like a take. Yes, it is. It just shows you when it's really frosty like this. You make the effort to go out, you can catch. Minus four today. It's a bit weird, that might be a fish. Yeah, we're in. Chub fishing just doesn't get better than this. Good old wagon mag. Hey up, oh, we're in here. And what about that? Wow. And it is feeling like a proper, proper lump. It's just hanging in the current. Right, I think I've got a tape. Yeah, this is a decent, good fish. Let's see if we can put this on his nose. Right, that's right on his nose. The spring and summer months are painfully short. Once the harvest is gathered in and the swallows have fled, anglers must make the most of autumn, for soon it will be winter. Does any angler in his right mind truly enjoy winter fishing? The answer may surprise you. Autumn is a fine time to fish, not too hot, not too cold. The fish know winter's on the way and are eager to feed before November arrives. Ah, November. No shade, no shine, no butterflies, no bees. No fruits, no flowers, no leaves, no birds, no baby. Soon the landscape will change. The quiet pools and gentle glides become swirling torrents. Trees stand naked, birdsong muted, the skies grey and foreboding. Frosts curl the remaining foliage, redden noses and thicken fingers. Icy blasts from the Arctic are not far away, bringing snow ice and invariably floods. No wonder so many anglers put their tackle away till the following spring, but in doing so, they probably never realize what they're missing. Angling should be celebrated throughout the whole year, not just when the sun's shining. Great fishing can still be enjoyed in the depths of winter, providing you choose your species and venues carefully. That, and having the right clothing, of course. Perhaps we should look upon our winter fishing in the way Lord Grey of Philodden did. He observed, as the angler looks back, he thinks less of individual captures and days than of scenes in which he fished. That's it really. A winter angler becomes part of a greater landscape. Less man against fish, more man against the whole of nature. But be in no doubt, when a fish does come along, the sense of achievement is far greater more rewarding, and as a result, infinitely more memorable. Anyone can catch fish in the summer. It's only after the first frosts arrive that we discover the true anglers.